Hey, thanks for watching. Wanted to make this video real quickly just to talk about messaging. Um, so I feel like a lot of people, when they're talking about sales, when they're talking about prospecting and strategy, they focus way more on the methods. Um, so like cold email, cold calling, LinkedIn. Uh, whereas I don't really think it matters that much which channel you use. It's much more about your strategy and your messaging. I feel like if you have a good strategy and if you have a good message, uh, it can work on pretty much any channel. So once you find messaging that works, I would just use every single channel you can. If you have a good message that draws people into your funnel, I would use cold email, cold LinkedIn outreach, uh, you know, cold other social media, and I would use cold calling as well. Uh, the problem is a lot of people assume that just because you cold call um, means you're going to have success. Or people hear, oh, cold email is working really well. They try cold email and they just send out one lazy message that really doesn't actually grab people's attention. And then when they don't get any customers out of it, they say, ah, cold email doesn't work. Uh, it's really not about the channel. It's much more about the messaging. So let me give you two examples, one of bad messaging and one of good messaging. So one that I see a lot, um, and I've done videos about it where I go over some of the LinkedIn messages that I get, is basically just saying, hey, this is my service, are you interested? Um, especially if it's like a consulting type service where you should be differentiating yourself, it's just a horrible approach to say, hey, here's my service, are you interested? Right? Because you shouldn't be just saying, hey, I do web design. Um, yeah, maybe you do web design or whatever, but the fact that you're just saying what your service is, is basically means you're treating it like a commodity. You're just saying, hey, I can do this service, do you want it? Uh, they have no idea if you're actually good, if you know what you're talking about. So what I try to do is, I'm not looking to sell right away. So I don't just say, hey, here's my service, are you interested? It pretty much has a very low response rate and the people that you're gonna get are most likely gonna be ones that are just focused on the cost, right? Because what else do they have to go off of? Um, they know the service, they're just gonna be looking for the price after that. So what I do is I want people to be genuinely interested in, in me, in the value that I provide, and then I want to sell them. It makes it so much easier when I can show people, hey, this is what I do, here's how I do it, and then they're interested, then it's a much easier sell. It's not an uphill battle to convince them that they need uh, to work with me. So you need to think a little bit more long term, but here's what I do. So I'll send out a cold email and basically say, hey, I, I help companies with sales, Here's a video showing exactly how I do it. And then I just link to one of the videos on my channel. Um, and I know that videos where I specifically do sales are much better, right? So ones where I'm actually making a call or actually doing a sales meeting, something like that. Because then people can see specifically how I operate. They can see what my um, ideas about sales are. They can see all of that, right? So I think that's very important to actually show some sort of value. Um, I know that this is a pretty common thing, and here's another mistake, is, is people will say, oh, I wanna provide value, right? But it's almost just kind of a half-assed attempt at saying, hey, I can do this for free, are you interested, right? That's not necessarily valuable because still, again, you're asking someone to commit to something, but they don't really trust you at all, right? So I think the easiest way to get good leads is make the first step extremely easy, right? Even asking someone to commit to some sort of free audit might be a little bit much if they don't even know who you are, if they don't know what value you bring. So make the first step even easier. Just have it be a video or just have it be maybe a case study. I feel like case studies aren't the best um, because I think it's better if you try to present yourself as sort of a thought leader, right? So something that actually showcases your real strategies, showcases your real thoughts on things, um, make it super easy for someone to take that first step in watching a five minute video about you, of you talking about whatever it is you do. And then you'll have people that are actually genuinely interested in it because they'll have seen your real thoughts and then they'll think, okay, you know, this person actually knows something about what they're talking about, right? And that's not gonna happen all the time, right? But at least with this approach, you will get those people genuinely interested. So going back to the bad example of if, uh, someone just saying, hey, I do web design, are you interested, right? Really the best case, the best scenario out of that is just someone saying, yeah, I'm interested, can you give me a price, right? And they're really not that interested in you. If your price seems too high, they're just, there's no reason for them to either negotiate or maybe reconsider your high price because they have nothing to go off of. So what you really should be doing is actually trying to convince someone you know what you're talking about, send them something where they can actually see your specific thoughts, see your specific ideas. Basically, what, I'm, what the takeaway here is don't just present your service like it's a commodity. If you're doing an outreach message and saying, hey, this is what I do, are you interested in a meeting? 
Uh, number one, you're just presenting, you know, you're just listing your service. That is never going to really get people interested. Also asking for a meeting or asking someone if they want to buy right away, um, it's just bad because they don't even know what you're really offering, right? Just because you list your service and ask, hey, do you want to buy? Who's really going to go for that? Um, this is another thing that I find interesting is I feel like people always talk about, oh, don't ask for the sale right away because it's rude. I don't necessarily think it's rude. I just think it's unrealistic, right? Just because you say, oh, this is my service. Do you want to do a meeting? I don't have a problem with the straight being straightforward because at least people know what you're trying to get at. The reason that doesn't work super well is because they have no reason to take that meeting, right? All you said is, I do this service, can we talk, right? And people don't want to talk to strangers on the phone, so you've given them absolutely no reason to really, you know, commit to anything. So, takeaways here, keep your message extremely simple, have a very easy step for the prospect to take, right? Maybe watch a video, something like that where it's extremely easy for them, don't expect your prospect to take some big step with you because they don't know who you are. The last takeaway, don't worry about what channels you're using. Worry way more about the messaging and what your sales funnel is like. If you figure that out, almost any channel will work. So don't really worry about which channel you're using. Hope this helps. Um, make sure you guys are subscribed. If you haven't already, give this video a like. And let me know what else you want me to cover down in the comments. Thanks for watching.